place and I swear God Hey, this is Ragnar. He is a 13 month old German Shepherd puppy who was given to us just a few days ago. Uh, right now we are working on the open crate concept. This is something that I love of my dogs. I love for my dogs to have a crate and be crate trained in the beginning and slowly earn the freedom of their doors being open during the day. Um, I do crate the dogs while I am gone during the day or at night to ensure that they are safe. Um, this is not his actual crate. This is just the smaller crate that came with him. Our bigger crate is here today and we are going to be setting that up, so don't worry. Um, right now we're just working on him staying in there unless released. We do not allow at all for anyone to interact with the dogs while they are inside of their crate unless it is for training purposes. Um, like feeding through the gate, having the open crate concept, or fetching the dog for a walk. This is their sacred space, and like, you don't even see my other dog, she's in her crate and her door is open. Uh, if he comes out, he doesn't get the treat. Uh -uh. If they try to get out, and you put your finger up and that doesn't work, you can just shut the door gently and wait for them to calm down again. I normally will wait a couple of seconds to give him another treat. Eventually this will become minutes, and eventually that will become like an hour or two. Um, if he falls asleep, I do give him a treat. Not if he's asleep, I don't wake him up. If he's calm and relaxed and laying down, I will give him a treat. Because being calm is something that we're trying to encourage instead of that wound up behavior. So if he's moving a whole bunch, if he's moving a whole bunch or anything like that, he doesn't get a treat either. Now my son is running behind us, which is a huge distraction. So I am rewarding a little bit faster than I normally would because he is dealing with a, one of the three Ds. Anytime they deal with one of the three Ds, distance, distraction, or duration, they treat more often. It looks like he's biting me, but he's not. He's actually very soft with his treats, yeah, I know. Now my boy is right next to the camera, which is super close to him. So the distractions have now been brought up even more. So it'll be even harder for him, but he's still doing super good. So when you end a session, jackpot with a few treats in your hand. To show that you are extra proud of him. We're gonna, we're gonna talk, thank you. We're gonna go ahead and close it for a minute, and then I will continue with the second lesson. And that is how you treat teach the open crate policy. Okay.